Today, the Apple Watch is going to save my life and it could rescue you. Come on, I'll show you. Ah, breakfast. It used to be such a simple pleasure, but now it's dangerous. In fact, eating in general is dangerous for me, and that's because I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes a year ago. With that, I need to use insulin, which could lead to low blood sugar, which is a pretty scary thing. If it goes too low, I could pass out, or I could even go into a diabetic coma. Now, luckily, with the Apple Watch combined with my continuous glucose monitor, which measures my blood glucose levels, I get alerts on my watch if my blood sugar is going too high or too low, and this has literally saved my life. A few months ago, I woke up to an alert on my Apple Watch. It said I was dropping very fast. My blood sugar was ridiculously low. I ran to the refrigerator. I got some orange juice, got it in my system, and then I literally passed out. Now, that was one of the scariest moments of my life. But luckily, I got that alert. I got the orange juice in my system. My blood sugars came back up, and I woke up. Situations like that can cause very real PTSD, but luckily, the combination of these two devices make me feel safe, secure, every single day. Now, the Apple Watch, it doesn't just save the lives of those with diabetes, it can save anyone. Let's go on a ride. The Apple Watch has fall detection, which is a lifesaver if you fall and you're all alone and you need help. Here's how it works. The watch combines two tools, an accelerometer, which detects velocity, and a gyroscope, which detects the Earth's gravity. Together, the two can alert the watch of a bad fall. When this happens, it asks if you want to call emergency services. If your watch detects that you're moving, it waits for you to respond to the alert, and it won't automatically call emergency services. If it detects that you haven't moved for about a minute, it will make the call automatically. After that, the watch will notify your emergency contacts and let them know that it detected a bad fall. It will send them your location and let them know that it notified emergency services and that they're on the way. Medical ID is where the emergency contacts are taken from. And there are other ways that medical ID can come in real handy, especially in dire situations where either you or someone else may be incoherent. Come with me. Now, one of my biggest worries with diabetes is having a medical emergency when I'm around strangers. Medical ID can help with that because it can alert others what your medical conditions may be. To access that on the Apple Watch, just hold the button and you'll see medical ID pop up and slide over. It has all that information right on here. It's also got an emergency contact. You can also access this on the iPhone. Now, all of this information can be programmed right on the iPhone. Here's how you do it. Just open up settings and go to health, and here you have medical ID, and this is where you put in all of your information as well as your emergency contacts. There's another feature on iPhone and Apple Watch that can come in handy, especially in scary situations if you find yourself alone and in danger, and that's emergency SOS. With that, it works like fall detection. It will call emergency services, send them to you, and it will alert your emergency contacts that it's been activated and where your location is. There are a couple ways to activate it on the Apple Watch. The first way to activate it is by using that same button as medical ID and then swiping over on emergency SOS. The other way you can do it is by holding down on that button and the watch will count down from five before it calls for help. It will also let out this siren as it counts down which could scare someone away. Now this can also be done on the iPhone even if you don't have an Apple Watch just by holding down the power button and the up volume button at the same time and then you can swipe it over to activate it. Now you can also set it up where you can click the power button five times and it will automatically start doing the emergency SOS and then it will start doing that siren once it hits five. Knowing I have emergency SOS on my Apple Watch and my iPhone gives me some added comfort, especially when I'm walking around in the city alone. All right, it is time to relax. Let's head home for some self-care. Lately, I found it super helpful at the end of the day to focus on my mental health with meditation, to just scrub the day away. 
Meditation can have a lot of really positive effects, including the ability to reduce the risk of going into the hospital with coronary disease by 87%. With the Apple Watch plus my Apple Fitness Plus account, I have a whole list of meditations I can choose from on the mindfulness app. I just gotta open that up, and then I have a selection of all these different meditations and choose one. Then, just gotta get my AirPods Pro and it connects right to them, and then I'm good to go. It's time to relax. To give yourself the space to feel calm, find a posture where you can be relaxed and alert. And if it's comfortable, close your eyes or just gently gaze down a short distance in front of you. That is how the Apple Watch saves my life, but I wanna hear from you. How does either the Apple Watch or another wearable that you have, how does that save your life? Let me know down in the comments. Also, CNET came out with this awesome video highlighting four people and how the Apple Watch saved their lives. If you wanna check out that video, I've thrown it down in the description. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'm Justin from CNET, and I'll take you later.